Okay. I don't know what happened to it, but uh, it's, no, the this, image is, is this has been beat up. See, I don't know what happened to it, but uh, Grandma, the images fade though. Oh, I gotta see this one. He's only six months old there. Who is? Hal, are you taking Your grandpa. Mm -hmm. He's only six months old. There. Aww. And they just loved him. Who's that? Uh, this is Joseph and Jimmy Shemansky. They're my nephews. Aww. But they, see, I've got my hand there trying yeah. to protect him because they're rolling him off yeah. into the grass and <laughs> doing everything. Now, these are my two cousins. There's my dad. And I went out. I'm so glad to see that one. See, he had pneumonia so bad, and we didn't think he was going to live. And he doesn't Show that look. to the camera, Grandma. Which yeah, one is that? That's my dad, and he had pneumonia. He was the coal miner, and he got pneumonia often. And, um... What's that dog? Is that a dog? Uh, yeah, I, but I, I'm going to have to think of what his name was. It might have mm -hmm. been Jippy. You ever hear a dog named Jippy? No. Well, that was my dad's dog. My dad always had a dog. Oh. That's not Jippy. That's a female dog. What did she See what she did, Grandma? Grandma. <coughs> See what Savietta did? Yeah. See all those images she scanned? Mm -hmm. So we have them electronically now. Okay. See, so if, now you, tell this, us, if you tell us... This is just a friend here. And What's her one name? Sheminsky. And Sheminsky. She lived over right over here. She's still living? No, she died gosh, two, three years ago. Somebody else is living in her house now. Her house, and that one I went to school with. What's her name? Dorothy Davies. Dorothy Davies. Was Davies, but. Uh, what is her marriage? She's now? in a rest home now. Um, you know that's a thing, Dorothy. Dorothy, Dorothy, Dorothy. Uh, I'll think of it. I'll think of it. Davies is her maiden no, that's name. That's okay. And then she married. It's just a short name. No, this was during the war. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Well. Now, there's my mom. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Sure. My mom, here's sure. my pop. Yeah. That's Jimmy Sheminsky. And that's Charles. That's Charles. Yeah. That's, oh, uh, yeah. that's scan five. Now, Joe and Mary would come over and visit me most most of the time. And sure. there, there's where he sat first, at the organ. And yeah. he played it. He he's still play. living. He sends us a card. Yeah, he's still living. He's, we get a card from him. He had a bird on his shoulder, the last picture he sent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was sitting still, <clears throat> and that, but he was nature. Mm -hmm. he, he was the country. He was the creation. And that's, we got along good, but, um, you know, he, when Mary died, he had to give up the home. Of it. Oh, this is a 42. <gasps> oh. This is over at the block here where Mary lived. And uh, maybe this is what I can show you. Here's yeah, these now, right these, here. okay, this is what you asked me. These are George Dowdy. Uh, that's Raymond Dowdy. But George Dowdy's kids are sandwiched there. And this one. And this one. This is a Charles Dowdy, too. That one's a Charles Dowdy. These are George Dowdy's kids? Yes. Now, George passed away, didn't he? Still living? No, no. He died just when I when I needed to uh, interview him. He died uh, right after Homer did, didn't he? I think so. Maybe before. Maybe that summer. Maybe before. How about uh? Now that's my first album. Well, who 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 are who's the, these two guys? Th that's Jimmy Shemensky and uh, Kenny. Ken which one's Kenny? The, the, the little one. The, the little, little one. one. And that's Jim. All right. What car was that? Whose car was that? I don't know anyone that had a car. Who are these people here? Well, that's Joseph, the oldest one, yeah. Shemensky. 
That's Jimmy Shemensky, and that's uh, Kenny. Kenny and Charles. And Charles. All right. They played yeah. together. Now here is something that I wanted so bad because this was a wisteria vine on that big wall. Yeah. That brick came wall. Up. Yeah. Uh, you see where their home is. See where we drove up around. See where you come up the hill. See, nobody here? see. You just had one house up there. There was no homes up there. Wow. And mom, mom was standing there, and I took the picture. And she said, get the wisteria vine now, get the wisteria vine. I said, well, I want you too, so go over <laughs> a little bit more. Oh, she was such a wonderful mother. And that's the one I liked. He's looking at Charles. me. Charles. Don't take my picture. He's one year old. Don't take my picture. That was in front of our, um, Mary lived on one side of that house Mom. and we lived on the other. Who are these guys right Don't here? Don't you dare feed my dog. It's too late. Who are these kids, Who are these kids right here? <laughs> Joe Santa? Yeah, that's Charles Joe and Joe Santa. Yeah, Joe Santa came with Cole over there, right here, in, in the back of his little old Plymouth. And that's the only Cole we had to keep the house warm. And then when he went into the service and he came to see us first. And these are birthday parties, but then I don't think I had the other kids there. Who are those there. kids, Grandma? Well, this is uh, Charles and yeah. Kenny, mm -hmm. Raymond Bazaar, mm -hmm. and uh, okay, I know I'm taught Joseph Shemensky and Mary, my sister Mary. See, that was a double house. Is this your house that you're living in now, or? No, that was over there. You okay? You want to sit down, Grandma? Yeah, this shoulder. They broke you're my right? shoulder. Who did? In the hospital. They did? I, I had a broke, I had a black, big hand print on here. What, they grab you? From, uh, I, they won't tell me what they did. I come out of the ether and I said, what is wrong with my arm? You came out of the emergency room? Out of the surgery for my ankle. Now here's Goldie. Goldie loved Charles so much and he loved her. And this is my Fido. <laughs> this is Jimmy. And Charles is crying because Jimmy took his rocker. So, yeah, did you get these ones in this black? Did you, did you get these ones in the black one? I think I did everything. Did you? Now, this is Dorothy May. Who's Dorothy May? Bazaar. Oh, uh, what's her name now? I'm, I'm forgetting their names, but it's just because I'm in, not thinking. But they were nine months old, mm -hmm. and I married Homer and Sis Juanita. Juanita. Married, married uh, Joe, 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 my brother Joe. So they were true cousins. They are true cousins, and she comes to everything I have, mm -hmm. and she tells everybody. I'm as much, I'm almost a dowdy, <laughs> almost a bazaar. <laughs> That's what she says. But see, this was our house, our side of the house, and this back. Por I had a back porch and a front porch, mm -hmm. and then Mary and Joe lived on the other side. And it, it, it was good for where, them. Yeah, where was this house at? Because I've gotten right many pictures. Right off the end of the street. Is it still standing? Oh, yeah. It's in pretty good shape. The end of what street? Oh, well, on that side. Ninth, ninth, ninth street. street. On the, there's only one house yeah, something like that. There's just next to it. Did they put new siding on it? Joe and Mary did. Was yeah. it? Well, it wasn't Joe and Mary's home, was it? Yeah. That's Joe and Mary's home? Yeah, they own this double house. And, and when we were living downtown, an older man lived in here, but he owned it. He was an older man, very, very So nice. that's the house that we would visit Joe and Mary. That's their yeah. home. Okay. Yeah. But um, when he died, Mary and Joe bought the house. And at that time, we were living in one room downtown, mm -hmm. and I was pregnant. And Mary said that they would rent me the house for $8. We had a hard time raking up that $8 a month. Mm -hmm. 
Now that's depression. This is not depression. You have the full-blown version. You do not have what we had. Mm -mm. No, You're never going to see what we had. No. I don't think America can survive this right now. Don't you do? They'll survive. They'll survive if they believe. But if that man in there now don't stop chewing his oats twice, why, we're going nowhere. Okay. Now this was a neighbor boy. Now look how he's dressed. He's always come down to play in those clothes. One day my dad said, you come in the house with me. And he went in, and when he come out, he had overalls on with my brothers and an old shirt. And when his mother come from work, she almost passed out. <laughs> and here she wanted him to play like that. That was silly, wasn't it? He had his good clothes on to mix mud. See, we mixed water and dirt together, and we didn't have anything to play with, so we made our little chairs out of mud, and the sun baked them. And we put them in a box and had them for a long time. We made the chairs and the bed and a table and whatever we could make. And then when the sun made them hard, you know how uh, the sun will make ground real uh, like a brick? Because you put water on it. Well, that's what we kept to play with. And so, and this was a neighbor boy. A Hasso boy, a Butchie Hasso. Who was his name? Butchie Hasso. Yeah. And this one here is um, my Uncle Joe. Out, we were having a reunion. I'm not sure I'm going to remember that. That's Joe Shemowski, isn't it? Looks like your dad in the middle. No, that's, um, no, his na that's not my uncle. This is my dad over here. Isn't it? Yeah. Where? Right here. That's your dad? Uh-huh. He was cleaned up that day. Has he got a pipe in his hand? If he has a cigar or something, that's not him. Hmm. But it little boy here. Butch Who is it? Butchie Hosso. Who's he? Well, he was a good neighbor. Oh, I'm talking good neighbor. Everybody around here was a good neighbor. You couldn't go out in the yard to do anything that the half, half of the kids didn't come and help you. It was not like today. Kennywood. Kennywood Park? Who's Kennywood. that? Charles? That's Charles. Yeah. Now, do you want to... Now, this is Sunday school down at Mackey. Where? All of these three pictures. The Mackey uh, Baptist Church? Yes. That's the only place we had to go. We didn't have a car. And I taught Sunday, Sunday school? school down there. I'm in the back. Where are you at? Okay, I don't know. I can't see that. What year is it? 46? Uh, 45, but I'm there. But I'm always sure. It's 46. Yeah, that's a 5. 45, yeah. So that's during the war. Maybe I war. took the picture. Oh, that's beautiful. I look behind it. So, Grandma, did the Baptist Church rent that building? It's not. Oh it's no! It's the Mackey School, no, right? No, no, no. It's no. the Mackey School. It's the Mackey School. That's where I went to school. I understand. And I yeah. want to go in there again before I die. I'm going down and see. What is it? Some kind of a commercial center now. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, the Baptist Church would meet there, right? Do they meet there? Yes, for they, Sunday school on Sunday. But they didn't have their own Baptist building. They would meet there. Well, see, this is for the people up here that couldn't get to the church oh, okay. downtown. Oh, okay, okay. Do you recognize anybody in that photo? Well, Annie Tanks is right Where? there. Where? That's Annie Tanks? Mm-hmm. Gigi. Sure enough, it is, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah, and we'll put these, i got envelopes to put them in, and they're plastic. I'll get, and we'll put them in there, There's any tanks and then right we'll there. put them in the book, because I'll be giving that memory book to uh, Cindy, and she'll have all these in there. And since tomorrow, I'll get them out. Where's the Charles? Coach. Is Charles in there? He would have been five years old. 
Well, he'd be a little bit older. Here's Jimmy Shemensky. Jimmy Shemensky. And, uh... Well, Charles, see, he was born in 40, so in 45 he should be five years old. There he is. Where? Right here. Where? That's Chuck. There's Charles. Mm-hmm. Return with his profile? Uh -huh. Yeah. I wonder, yeah, that's him. That's him. What's he holding? What did he make? Dad was holding everything that they made. Yeah, they that's made some kind of craft. Uh, this is Ruth McIninch over here. Rat Ruth McIninch? Where? Yeah. Where? Right there. Okay. Um, this is Jimmy Shemetsky here. I told you okay, that yeah. already. And this this is Mrs. Wilson. Who's Wilson? Well, she was a teacher. She delivered school the... School teacher? No, no, no. Sunday school Sunday teacher. Sunday school teacher. She delivered Charles. She did? Well, she at the hospital? With, no, no. In our house. My dad was born in a home? Mm -hmm. He wasn't born in a hospital? Mm -mm. He was healthy. He didn't need a hospital. So he wasn't born in a hospital, he was born in a home? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. And Mrs. Wilson delivered him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is... Well, what's, what's Mrs. Wilson's first this name? This is Mrs. Wilson here. Yeah, yeah, what's her first name? That's Ruth McIninch. Yeah. What's Mrs. Wilson's first name? Hmm. Hmm. If they're tired, yeah, right there. Patty Altop's sister? Yeah. What's her name? Altop's? Altop. Altop. What's her name? See, I can't remember all of them. Well, anyway, this is Johnny Miller, and he was a neighbor. John, he, wait, 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 okay, John, he, Johnny Miller? He dated um, the girl there, and uh, she lived next door. What was her name? And uh, okay, there's Patty all top, right here. Yeah, on the right. Right. Front right. Yeah. And uh, uh, Swisher. What was her first name? Uh, well, I got that glued down. Yeah, shouldn't have done that. I'll look at him and I can get, get it better. Because he went to Sunday school and he taught a Johnny. small Johnny Miller. What'd you say? That's not what I said. Oh, John, Johnny, Johnny. Boy, see. On the right? Yeah, right oh, below. My oh, lights give me a fits here. Why? And then Patty L. Tops in the middle. Ruth McIninch has got the hat on, and she is more or less. McIninch? Yeah, Ruth McIninch. She. Um, I'm just getting a light here, Grandma. There's a glare. No, I think I put... Did, All right, did go ahead. the emergency light come on when you pulled in the garage? Did the motion light come on? All right, so McIninch has the hat on on the left. Yeah. Annie Tanks is on the right. Who's the girl to the left? All top is right to the left? Oh, that's me in the middle. That's you? Yeah. And then all top is to the right of you. Are you... She, she's taking the picture. So where's you at, Grandma? Um, I'm right here in the middle. Okay. So that, that, is that's that an all teacher? top next to me, but it's not Patty. She's taking the picture. I have an idea. And then Annie Tanks is on the end. All right. Okay. And in the back, that's a teacher back there. Uh, I should never forget her. She's a wonderful woman. She taught all those years, too. And this one, I don't... I'm not putting her together. Some of them are marked. Jim's right here. Jim Shemensky. On the left? Yes. With his legs kind of... Bent. Bent there. Where's Charles? I think he's squeezed in the back somewhere, if you ask me. Because I don't see him quick. 
That's Bobby Shemensky there. Now, is this one Jim? I got, I got Joseph right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like and K. I think he's in the back. It's awful small for me to see. Is Ooh. that like a your class there? Yeah. And this is Raymond Bazaar. Right there. Yeah. Boy, all those little girls I knew, and they were here all the time. But that was a Sunday school class. Is this maybe like a picnic you had or something? Well, the was the end of the uh, pro uh, yeah, the week, and we were taking pictures for. Mm -hmm. For that. Who is this? Is that Joseph Schmansky? Oh, who did I say this was? Can you ask Joseph there? Mm -hmm. And then Bobby Schmansky's here. Mm -hmm. And that's my brother Raymond there. Probably 10 there. In Kennywood Park? Where is yeah. that at? In Pennsylvania? Yeah, in Pittsburgh. Outside of Pittsburgh? Mm hmm Yeah, that's Charles and his dog. Where? Over on that side. Kids are tired. What's that dog's name? Lucky? No. That's Spotty. Spotty. He got poisoned out there. In our yard. Uh, where do you want to start? Uh, you want to start at the top? Well, that's Goldie. My sister, Goldie Bazaar yeah. Gray. And there's Dolores. And that's Dolores, Estella Bazaar. And this is, of course, is Charles. Where? Oh, that, little that little head. Yeah, the little head. Yeah. And this is a little Habeck boy, and I'm not sure of his first name. What's his name? Habeck. H-A-B-I-G, lived next door, and his mommy and daddy and brothers and sisters helped me all the time. She'd come over there early in the morning and take Charles and give him a bath and dress him, and the kids took care of him because I was sick. I couldn't. When I lost the babies, I lost four, one after another. So at the bottom is Jimmy Shemensky, and then up is up to the left is Raymond? No, that's it. To the left? Okay, to the left is Raymond. Underneath underneath uh, baby Charles is Raymond? Yes. Okay, then Jimmy at the bottom. Yeah. All right. Piedmont. That's Piedmont Lake? Yeah. Where's that at, in Ohio? Piedmont, yeah. Near Bethesda? No, 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 the other direction. Piedmont, Tippy Canoe, or... Happen out that way. Uh, that's my brother Tommy, and he was a happy man there. That was before the war. Uh, who in the world is that? Homer? Is that Homer? No, that's Frank. That's Frank's smile. Yeah, that's Frank. And that's um, Jimmy and Joseph Sheminsky. Sheminsky. Yeah. Now Chuck is in his group. They're chopping a tree down. Right there. Homer and Charles. Yeah. And that's when our house was a red shingle. Yeah, I, I remember the red shingle. I remember the red shingle. Yeah. And then this one up here is Goldie Bazaar Gray. Yeah. yeah. And that's Jimmy Shemensky. Mm-hmm. And Charles. And me, and I was working at the Moore plant then. The Moore plant? Yeah. Blahnox. Oh. The war plant. And just as we were taking this picture, Chuck put out a hunk of cake in his mouth. So he doesn't look like he's self. He's crunching on it. And of course, that's a good one of Homer and me. Did he swallow his cake? He never would chew, would he? 
chew the cake? Yeah, he chews the cake. I got a, uh, I got a video of his uh, wedding when he, uh, they had a little thing at the community center here. The Mackey Community Center. Yeah. And when he cut his cake, he just put it in his mouth and swallowed it. He didn't chew it. He went... <laughs> you don't remember that? Well, I was probably giving the party, wasn't I? Uh, let's see what we have here. Well, that's his favorite playground. Where is that at? Out here in the yard. It was on this side over here. Uh -huh. There was two trees over there. Lord, I wish those houses weren't there. That was his paradise. Wow. Is, what houses are there now? That. Looks like the angel that kicked out Adam and Eve in the back. <laughs> All right, hold on. <laughs> Went out of your hand fast. Look, here's Homer. Here. Homer yeah, look that's, that's grandma. grandma. Now look. There's Homer. Say Homer Dowdy. There's two Homer Stouties. And that's Pap Pap when he was a boy. Point to Pap Pap. Here's my birthday. And where's Grandma? Where's Grandma? <laughs> uh, no, no, yeah, Grandma. And where's Gigi? Where's Gigi? And yeah, there's Gigi. But look, when Gigi was a mom, when Gigi was a mommy. Children. See Gigi? So that's who we named you right after. That's, that's Homer Dowdy. Gigi had a Homer. So you're the Rico? second Homer. All right. She was so glad I called. She's got cancer. They took both breasts off. Oh my God. See that, Mommy? Yes. It all came Dad, to Sunday school children. Mom. They took the money in the Sunday school class. They took the money in the Sunday school class. Oh, let me see. Wow, I love you. And that's what that money is. Another one. All right. All right, Homer. Look at Mommy. Okay. Can I see? Look at Mommy. Yeah. That's all that money is. Uh, you want me to take a picture? Yeah, get it. Gets after you. You put this thumb down there and put these fingers up here and don't try to hit them in the nose. They might hurt you first. And he said, just go right in the stomach. <laughs> Ready? <gasps> You. Never. Uh -oh. You have to protect this thumb. You have to your thumb. Alright, alright, alright. Wow. But I'll tell you what. I didn't have to hit anybody. <laughs> when I stand by your grandpa, nobody bothered me. <laughs> Gigi, tell the story about uh, one of your children in your classes. Yeah, honey. Yes. Brother that was a captain on that ship. So this is your Aunt Mary? No. It's not your my, sister? No, that's my cousin Mary. Bizarre. Cousin Mary Bazaar. And mm -hmm. who is she with? Her brother. What's his name? Uh, cousin? Cousin Buddy. Yeah, that's Bud. Bud, yeah. Buddy, and Mary. Yeah. And their father was Andy, who's your uncle. Mm -hmm. And you have another picture of him. On top of that uh, cannon, mm -hmm. cleaning the cannon, right? Yeah, him. That's my oh, cousin, buddy. Yeah, buddy. buddy. Yeah. Where was this picture taken of? At Up in Toledo. Toledo. That's in front of the. What do you call a house that the captain lives in? Hmm. Probably like something like an admiralty. It's a, it's a building where they have the gymnasium. Yeah, concession like a base. stand. Just about everything, you mm -hmm. know, for the soldiers and sailors. Mm -hmm. well, grandma, Grandma, the ones I'm taping, who, who are these people I'm looking at right here? Joe Shemensky, my dad, Joe Bazaar, and my brother, Charlie Bazaar. Was Charlie the oldest? Oh, no. No, um, Charlie's the fourth one, and then I'm number five right after him. That's the uh, 34, 34 Ford, and, and it was Joe's car. Joe. Joe Bazaar's. Your dad or your brother? Junior. Your brother? Yeah, my brother. That's the car that you rode to uh, West Virginia. You went to West Virginia, didn't you? 
Well, that wasn't our car. That was Joe's car. That's what I'm saying. We had a 34 Ford later. Remember when he fought in, in uh, over in West Fairmont, West Virginia, against mm -hmm. Howard Myers? Mm -hmm. And you went with Pop? Mm-hmm. You went with Pop Dowdy, and he, you slumped over, and he, <coughs> you, he said, I'm not going to take you anymore to Homer's fights. <laughs> was that the car you drove in? No. That's no. not the car? Because uh -uh. I think you said jo they drove all night to get home. So well, that's not the well, car. Well, yeah, that, that would be the car, yeah. It was? Yeah. Pop Dowdy was Yeah, in? see, Joe's on the end there, Where? and he drove it. Where's he at, on the right? Can I get in front of that camera? Yeah, go ahead. Right here. That's your brother, Joe. Yeah. So he did and drive it. He did drive Pop Dowdy, right? Oh, yeah. Pop went with him, right? Yeah. But that car, uh, Joe was going to see Sis somewhere or pick her up. And it was a cold, snowy, bad night. And some kids were out. It was probably 1130. They were sled riding. And they came from uptown, down that road, on their sleds. All, probably for an hour or so, I don't know. And uh, here Joe went to pick Sis up. And when he was going down, these kids come off the hill. One of them hit this car and killed him. Hmm. Joe never was the same. But it was all right now, now uh, the, Homer it says he won the fight and with that he was voted most popular fighter and he won a phone call to the states and a robe now what about that phone call to the states well that phone call came and they wouldn't let me off work if I stayed home to take that phone call I would be docked seven days well, well, let I me ask you, first ports. of all, where did you work? Where did you work? I worked at the Blah and Ox War Plant. All right. Did you have a telephone at home in those days? Yes, my mom did. And I was staying down there. So, I mentioned it to my boss down there. And he said, I can't let you off. They'll dock you seven days. And I said, but it's an emergency. Well, not to them it isn't. So I said, oh, that's terrible. So he said, no, you come to work. And when that phone rings, I'll give it to you. And they arranged for that phone call to come into the Blah Knox, into the machine shop where I was working. And the machines are bang, 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 Make bang, a bang, bang, a lot of noise. Well, when the phone call came in and I said, hi, honey. And they shut the whole unit down, the whole machine shop. They shut it all down. So it could be quiet. So, so could, I could talk to him. You could hear. And I could hear him. Mm. And of course he could hear me. But they took the volume up for him too. All right. Uh, on the other end. So between uh, the Navy base and that Blah Knox war plant, they were making. We were making the gun parts. Uh, they let me talk to him. All right. So. But you say you did have a telephone at home? Oh, yes. During World War Two. Yeah. But it's just you couldn't, you weren't allowed to get off work? No, I didn't have a telephone at home. I was staying at Mom's. Okay. Okay. I did right. not have a telephone. Okay. Didn't get that till after he came home. You got your telephone after he came home? Right. All right. Thank you, Grandma. Depression. Did the phones work in those days, Grandma? What well, must have I said I talked to him? <laughs> <laughs> Did they know how to make telephones back in those days? Well, they had I'm some te technology there, yeah. and then you know, of course, that's depression technology. But the war plant was working every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, they made good uh, yeah. can cannons, I guess, right? Well, we were making the parts for the guns. Yeah. All right. What, what was they a, a hundred millimeter? I, I don't know. Seems to me they might have been. When we when we did put the a hundredth gun off of the um, floor, we had a big celebration and pictures. Now I've got the pictures for that. You do? Yeah, I so do. All everybody got to take off and 
get their picture taken by the times later. Wow. Yeah. And said, what are you going to do after you graduate? And Dad said, I'm going to read that Bible. And you were aggravated it with him? Did you think he was being smart, Alec? I don't think so. He was beginning to settle down. And uh -huh. he, he said that you were aggravated with him. You thought he was kind of being... Um, oh, the way he said it to him? Yeah. Oh. Well, I could be mistaken. Now, Cindy sent me this book, so this is going to some groups of you in a time. Uh, Grandma, who, what's, this, just, what's this Hungarian goulash here? I said the dance. Oh, what is it called? Chardash. The what? The Chardash. How do you spell that? I don't know. <laughs> C-H something. It says 1940, so Toledo. So you would have just been, have been born with uh, Charles. Yeah. So who are these people? That's my aunt's children. What is your were, aunt? Oh. They were musical. And aunt who? Aunt Wilma Jedlocky. Jedlocky. Digest that one. <laughs> Jedlocky. But they were talented mm -hmm. children. Now, Grandma, let's, let's settle this thing here. Was, uh, was great, great Grandma was born in uh, Hungary, right? Mm -hmm. So she, but she made up the German story. Did she make up a German story? What was the, what was the deal about the rabbit, rabbit hollow? Germany. Uh, I kind of remember that? Remember, remember somebody said it wasn't Budapest after all, it was rabbit hollow. That was me, because that's what mom said. She was from rabbit hollow? Uh -huh. She said it was really rabbit hollow. Germany. Hungary. No. Budapest. She, you said Rabbit Hollow in Germany. She just she made up the story because she didn't want people to think she was from Germany when she got here. Is that right or wrong? It's right. My brother Charlie. Charlie Bazaar. Mary Elizabeth. Mary. What was her name? Mary Elizabeth. She um, had a cack in the cack. Something with a K. Did, she have, did they have kids? Yes, they had two Jewish daughters. Got him for... All right, Grandma, tell me about the Bartos. Well, Aunt Annie had the farm, and that's where I worked every sun, summer, and Frank, me and Frank went up and worked. And Uncle Joe and Aunt Annie did the cooking, and we didn't get paid any cash, but then we had uh, learned a lot, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. So, now, who's in the picture here? Is that, is that them in the middle? That's yeah, Joe? Yeah, Uncle Joe. And his wife? Aunt Annie. Annie, and they have three Aunt, kids? Uh, Julie, Paul, huh, Julie, Paul. Mm -hmm. So that's Johnny Gray's car. It's a Buick? Mm-hmm. And that's Raymond beside him? Mm-hmm. They're in the alley outside your home? Mm-hmm. That was necessary. All right, yeah. All right, Grandma, how did you and Homer meet? Well, I was cooking supper. And I had a certain amount of food there. And I have uh, one, two, three, four, five brothers to sit down at the table and here he Joe comes in with him so he sat down and he ate you know there was nothing left for me and mom we had to fix the egg <laughs> now were the Dowdies living a couple houses down from you on, no, they, on Ohio Avenue by that time were they at no, Ohio? No they were on DeHash Street which you don't even know. How do you spell that? DeHash? D Hass. D E capital H A S S. Yes, the Hash Street. Where was that at? Well, you know where our property was down there. Yeah. Well, in back of that is a street they called the Hash Street. It's a dead end. Now, uh, what street is that where your house was on? What number? Uh, so that, 
Well, that's, that's North Zane Highway. That's North that Zane Highway. That's 718, 716. North Zane Highway. North Zane Highway. Okay. Uh, what did you? What was your first impressions of Homer? You eat too much. <laughs> he ate too much. Oh. No, Abby, no. <laughs> Not there. We got a letter from one of your friends who got the book on Homer. It's okay. I already got it. And when they when Homer boxed Kid Bluebird to a draw, they weighed in and the and the manager said, "Are you all hungry?" And they said, "Yeah." And he says, "Homer, go get go buy some hot dogs." So Homer, he sent Homer to buy hot dogs for everybody. And uh, when he got back, he said, where's the hot dogs? And Homer said, I thought you meant for me to eat them. <laughs> he knew better. He knew better. But that was uh, Jarvis, Mr. Jarvis. And the letter is in there if you want to copy You got the letter? I always wondered what happened to it. Because uh, you got that letter but from Jarvis? I didn't know that. Because I was looking for it, it because uh, that it's, it's in the cupboard. That tells it? about that tells about the uh, the fight when home when you and Homer uh, were upset, and he went down there, and it was one of the few times he got uh, knocked out. He got beat, and he was fighting a fighter. And they told us he, uh, Mr. Jarvis, told us who the name was. Earl Mose was his name. Earl Moses or Mose? You ever heard of him? It would be Moe's. Moe's? I think. You remember that? Were you married I at the think time? He when was a black man. Moe's was a black man, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, where, do you remember when, do you remember, you were married by that time, right? Oh, yeah. Well, let's go back. Let's go back before we talk about that. Uh, so how did Homer propose? Well, he kept coming to the house. And uh, uh, my dad bought me my first store-bought dress. Mom made everything. And he went and picked it out. Now, my dad picked this out. I wish I had a picture of that dress. I may in the old, in the cupboard there. There's a lot of boxes in there you don't even know that's in there. And, and it was at that time these full skirts for square dancing. And it, on the bottom, now Pop picked this up. It had eight rows of piping. And you know what piping is when you're sewing? It's like a bias tape, only it's rolled, but it's still piping. And there was six or eight rows of them at the bottom of the skirt, so that when you swirled around, that skirt went up all over the place. It was big. Is a possibility I have that in a box somewhere? Maybe. I don't know if I do or show it to you. That'd be interesting. And it was beautiful, and it cost them a lot. And it's the first time Mom and Pop bought any store-bought clothes on a bill. And he said she's 16, and she's going to have a store-bought dress for Christmas. See, I have to say this to you because my dad had good qualities. It wasn't all alcoholic. There was a lot of good things that he did that people need to know. And even like when I was sick, when I had the colon problem and I was going to Cleveland Clinic, well, they thought I had cancer for sure. Maybe it was a beginning. Maybe taking that part of the colon out uh, corrected it for, you know, but the bleeding stopped. I couldn't go nowhere. It was bleeding from up in here. So they didn't have the scope to go all the way up under the ribs. So I had to go to Cleveland Clinic. And he was drinking that day. And he was sitting in his big chair, smoking his pipe. And I was going out the door. Me and Mom, we had a prayer. But he sat there. He didn't get up and leave. And then he said, well, I'll see you later. I said, Pop, I'm going for a serious checkup. It could be cancer. I could die. And I said, I'd just rather be dead than see you sitting in that chair with that beer can in your hand all the time. And I walked out. 
Mom said he went in the bedroom, shut the door, and he just cried. Now, that's the mean alcoholic. You know what I'm saying? He had good thoughts, good feelings, and he didn't want anything to happen to any of his children. That's why he beat our rear ends with a big stick when we swam the river, and he told us not to, me and George both. And he, the neighbor said, don't beat them. We were coming up that old road in the back. They said, don't beat them. We've been watching them and waiting to see how far they got each day. They were just taking a little bit at a time every day. It took us about two weeks, I think, maybe, to really get the feel of the river. When you got to the middle, it's a different story, you know. The velocity? Uh, the temperature. It gets colder. Oh, yes. That's why you get leg cramps. You're warm all from the shores out. It's pretty much probably a quarter of a mile. And uh, then when you get in the middle, you get that real quick cold on your legs. And that's what makes people paralyzed. And they drown. But George and I took a little bit of the time. And then when we knew we were going to get to the middle, we were going to hit the ice. It was icy cold. Well, then we were prepared, because I got out of the water and got in the boat, and he rode. All right, what year was that? How old were you? Sixteen. Sixteen, and when were you born? January uh, 31st, 1919. So 19 and 16 would be 1935. Oh, yeah. 19 it, and 16. It was in 1935 when you swam the river. Yeah. Was it clean? The river was clean then, or was it... Yeah, was it, it was, but the point is, my dad knew that the sand diggers were going to start digging. And they were digging down below. But that don't make any difference. The suck holes will come out, even if you're digging sand way down the river, or up the river. <laughs> we came an hour down the river. Yeah, we, I'm, I had my head out the window telling him... Because he couldn't even see. Um, yeah, my like, windshield wipers didn't work. Oh, my and, and I'm telling him, no, no, you, you're getting close to yeah, the Yeah, left or right. Getting, yeah, Grandma had to window I mean, open. there's no curb on the highway. I didn't even have a spare tire, and I got my 70-year-old Grandma in the car. How old were you? Oh, in eight, 1989, we were on the trail. Well, take 19 from it. So you weren't even. I said 70-year-old. Yeah. You were 70 years old. In 89, Grandma was 70, and we were on the trail of Homer. Now the, qu the I thought I got my 70. I thought I didn't get that figure 70. I didn't pull it from my hat. You were 70 years old. Well, I said take my birth from the year. January 23rd? What day, January? 1919. January the... 31st. January 31st, 31st. The last day of January? Oh, yeah. How many days are in January? Mom, I forgot I was there. Your mom? She had to hurry up and get me in January. Really? Or I'd be born in February. You couldn't do that because I was going to marry a man that was born in All right. February. So, the last day. so Homer comes up. So you would swam the Ohio River in 1935, and you did that in the summer? I would think so. All right, all right. In July and August. July and August, and that's 1935. Yes. Now, the flood comes in 36. I would imagine in the spring when the rains come. Always. It'll, it's due. Okay. We'll the river. One. Okay. So that's 36. Homer... Turned pro in January 36, fought in East Liverpool, and then 37, he went to Pittsburgh. 37 is where he started fighting in Pittsburgh, and yes. I looked last night, he had four wins in Pittsburgh, back and, to back. And you must re remember that in 36 was the 55.5 flood on the Ohio River. That's what I just said, the Great Flood. The Great Flood. 55 feet? 55.5. What's that mean? Well, 55 feet and... Above the normal water line? Yeah. Above. That's as high as I can remember. I don't think it went any higher than that. But every April, you're going to... Mm -hmm. May. Like we had this bad winter, that river's got a flood. Okay. Those people on First Street better be packing. All right. Let me ask you a question, Grandma. When did Homer propose to you? You remember the date? You remember? You remember when you were married? What? What's your? Uh, when were you married? Seed. We 
I'm like sorry. That. Sorry. Let's see. Let's see. It, it, uh, 38, right? You were married in 38? No, we were married in 39. 39. you got to give Charles a year to be born. He okay. was born in 40. All right. So you were married in April? When was your wedding date? April 21st. 1939. Mm. How much time went by from the day? Can you remember about the time he proposed to you? How much time expired before I, when he proposed? You you didn't wait in those days, did you? You just went. He proposed, and you went down and got married, right, at the courthouse. I don't remember him proposing. I just remember him. All right, I Mama, said, come on. "You're not going boxing." Okay? Yeah, that's right. You're that's not right. going boxing. That's he said, think. "All right, get ready. We're Saturday. We're getting married." You hear that, honey? Wow. <laughs> and you got married at the Wheeling Courthouse, right? Well, it was a judge's office. Judge's office. Did the judge marry you? Or the clerk? No, Homer did. <laughs> <laughs> Homer did. So then, so whatever day, whatever, what day did, uh, when you were married, you married on a Saturday. Most people do. Yeah. Well, and that was April the 21st, 1939. Wait a minute. Uh -oh. It was the 29th because Chuck was born on the 21st. I'm I got okay, my Okay, so I you were married. Next now we can look up the date. I, I have it, but it's April 29th, 1939. That's a Saturday. So, previous that week, that week prior, some time before that Saturday, he came to propose to you. Are you sure it might could have been on the Friday, like the day before, or? No, I, said, th I think it was on Sunday afternoon. He we proposed. were sitting on that porch down there. It wasn't like a proposal. He came up and said, Honey, I'm going to go to Detroit and make a go. Okay. And uh, when I get back, he said, We're going to get married. Right. And what did you tell him? Keep walking. Well, it's funny because you told me a long time ago that you said, well, that's fine and dandy. You can go to Detroit. But when you get back, I'm not going to be here waiting for you. Right. That's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> now. That's what you call a proposal and a refusal. <laughs> now, he wasn't happy about that, was he? No. What did he, what did he do? Well, that's, that's when I told you that he had his... Uh, Heavy Listen to this, top honey. coat Listen. on, and he stomped off of the porch <laughs> and stomped out the road. And the only thing I could see swinging was that the coat. back, the back, <laughs> of his, the back of the his, tails uh, of his, the coat. tails of his coat. Now was he running down Ohio Avenue? No, no. Or he did he run went out this way? He ran it's, toward Mackey School. Well, out out this way, uh, this A Street. A Eighth. Eighth. That's eighth down. So he would have run by what Randy and I knew as uh, the Apple Garth store. Yes. So he ran down Eighth Street. Yes. Right by where Randy and I bought our candy growing up. More Chellies owned it then. More Ch More Chellies. Mm-hmm. But so he ran down that street. But he was went he that way instead of down the highway. Yeah. Because Uncle Frank lived out that way. Oh, okay. Uh, he's got to go cry to his Uncle Frank. Oh, he did stop in and talk to Frank. Oh, sure. And he came over here to Mom's, and he was getting elderly, and uh, I opened the door, and I said, oh, Uncle Frank, he said, don't you Uncle Frank me? I said, what I do, it's what you didn't do. <laughs> he said, don't you love Homer? I thought you was hiding the show, and when you go hiding, I mean, you either love him or you get away from they him. They were hugging each other. Yeah. So, well, we were in their house. So when was your first kiss? First date. In the back of Joe's car. Wow, tell us about that. <laughs> well, see, Joe had that Ford. A 34? 34 Ford. And he cleaned it all up. And then I come home from housework from the island. And I give my mother... The money I earned, like I did every time I come home from work, wow. and she handed it to him. I said, what are you giving the money to him for? He needs uh, gas in the car. 
she was she was looking at the big picture so anyhow it's upside down yeah, I know after a while the first date me. the first date would that have been like back in 30 was that before the flood your first date was that like in 36 no um the flood was before that so so you, homer came to your home for dinner yeah that's always. Your first that's when you had the first date with him you gotta feed him first and then you think about well if he's going to be here all the time eating then I might as well make him pitch in, marry him, and he can help to pay for the food. You hear that, honey? I gave the keys to Alex, and I so, never got them back. here's the point. The car. So, what uh, so you must have went out in Joe's car after that first uh, dinner. He, no, there was a lot of dinners between that. There was many, many dinners between that okay, and okay. going out with him. Okay, so... Well, when my mother gave Joe my housework money for gas in the car, I ran upstairs. I got bath and put that brand new dress on that my dad had bought me for Christmas. A brand new dress. Cause if and you're... I come down the step. He said, oh, is that you, Helen? Is that Homer said that? <laughs> I look pretty. <laughs> He didn't like me in a house dress. <laughs> I remember, Grandma, because if you're paying for the gas, you're going in the car. Yes. So Joe was getting ready, and Homer was talking to my dad, and I went out and sat in the back of the car because they weren't going to sneak out without me. <laughs> Joe came out, and he said, What are you doing back there? I said, Joe, I worked all day. I'm going where my money goes. I didn't know where they were going. She gave her money to her mom, and her mom gave it to Joe for the gas in the car. Uh. So, he said, well, stay there. You can go with us. And I'm thinking, huh, try to get me out. <laughs> and I went to that square dance. And this man at that square dance, uh, I know, that's the first time I met him, of course, but he told me, he said, now this is a place I'm trying to keep for young people. And this is your first time here. And we have no cursing and uh, no bad show, uh, you know, bad acts going on. And um, no drinking. And I start laughing. And he said, it's not funny, lady. You're, 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 you're 16 now. And you have to follow my rules. And I said, okay. I went out oh on the floor, and I, first I danced with Robert. And Betty came over to dance, and then Hummer came over. Well, that was different. I never danced with Robert anymore. Homer's younger brother? That's what so it Robert, is. How many people piled in the car? Robert, Homer? No, no, Robert. Joe, I don't, oh. Robert had a car. He had another way. Yeah, but he didn't have a girl. So he thought I was going to be his girl because uh -huh. I danced with him. So that was your first kiss that night? Yep. Yeah. In back of Joe's car. On the way home? And Joe looked in the mirror and said, that's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it, was, it was a nice friendship and a, a courtship, but it just never went any further and we never was by ourselves. And so you figure what that was like a year before you were married? I think it was about a year. Like about 1938. Now wait a minute. What's the end of the story when Homer stomped off and you saw him going that way? Oh and yeah, yeah. We happened? didn't finish that. We didn't finish that story. So yet. Did he come back or what? Huh? Not yeah, until yeah. the next day. You saw the tails flying, and we yeah. and you figured that was on a Sunday. I figured it was because he had to go to work in the morning. Working for his dad? Yes, of course, for nothing. All right. And I stopped that. I went. Oh, to wait, 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 get back to Homer. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> you wanted to know about the money. So uh, Monday then. So he went to work. But he stopped to see me first. In the morning. Aww. In the morning. Yeah, he, me and uh, Dolores and Goldie slept in one bed in the back bedroom, and Goldie said, "Somebody's out there." 
And I said, oh, well, cover up. And uh, so we all got under the blankets. And then pretty soon, knock, knock, knock on the glass. And then we was really, really scared. So we jumped up and went out where Mom's bedroom was. She said, what's the matter with you girls? Oh, somebody's out there. And so Pop went out there was over. Yeah, in the back <laughs> he Don't said, just what do you think you're doing, young man? He said, I just wanted to say good morning to Helen before I go to work. And he said, next time you wait till you come home from work. You scared us all. <laughs> so what did Homer say? About what? To Pop? About no. the boxing. You mean the... The, la you. the last you left him, he was running down 8th Street you tell him you're with his arms afraid. pumping <laughs> and his tail coat flapping. Was he running full speed? Of course. But he was only going to go to the end of the block because that's where Uncle Frank lived. He's going to cry on his shoulder. But he came back, so apparently he changed his mind. So what did he well, say? Well, maybe Uncle Frank changed it. If... If you ask me, they liked me, and I did their housework. That's strange it that happened that way. I didn't meet Homer at their house. But they sat down, and they were Christians at the Christian church. From the time, the, you know, the beginning, the ground laying and everything of the Frank old Dowdy? building. Yeah, Frank Was a member of the Christian Anna church? Dowdy. Oh, Christian yeah, church? they were the staunch. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. And that's another thing. So, Homer, oh, I'm sorry. Somebody stole those pictures from me of that church because Uncle Frank gave me all those pictures. And the only person that I think was in this house was Catherine. Uh, Grandma, so Homer came the next day and he had a change of mind. He was real gentle, right? And kind. Oh, and what did he say? Oh, yes. Did he, <laughs> what did he say? Well, I asked him, you want your cup of coffee? And he said, no. That. I said, oh, he's sick? And he said, yeah. My dad was in the kitchen. He said, Helen, he's love sick. He got no medicine for that. Oh. So he said, so and, did he say? When Pop did that, I knew he approved of him. I wouldn't marry nobody if my parents didn't approve. You know. So he said, uh, we, okay, honey. I won't go to Detroit. We can get married Saturday. That's when he did. And, and Pop and Mom was there. We can get married. So it really wasn't a question. Will you marry me? That's what I'm saying. It wasn't a proposal. He oh, just said, <laughs> he said we can get married Saturday. Well, you're uh, supposed to get down on your knee, aren't you? Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> he didn't. He forgot. <laughs> uh, Natalie, you have a question for Grandma? Well, wait a minute, Grandma. Along these lines? So you had one week to get ready? What was there to get ready? I was going to wear the same dress I had in the cupboard. Yeah, but where are you going to live? We have, a, that? How are you going to we have a picture of you on your wedding day. You gave me a copy of it. We made yeah. copies. I remember that dress. It was pretty. You had a coat. You had put on an overcoat. Well, it was spring, April. It yeah. was cold. Yeah. Are those kids out in the mud? I told them to stay off the mud. Well, you have to tell them to go up in the big yard. Big That's yard. soaked out there. Okay. Up. Oh, All right, Sophia, do you have a question for Grandma? Hold on. So, Grandma, I mean, did you, like, talk to your parents, or? No, they were there. Oh. They heard it all. It was all a part of it, the process. My mother just smiled at me. <laughs> so they liked her. <laughs> yes, they, they did. Might, they liked you. They, they wouldn't. I had two dates with a couple other guys, you know, and I knew my dad didn't like them because he never talked to them. He didn't tell them to come in and sit down. We sat so, on the step out on the floor. So what's the so why did your dad decide he was going to box Homer one day? When did that happen? Remember, he well, was going to take he, Homer off. He was drinking, and uh, was uh, that before you were married? Yeah. When you and, were dating. Yeah, and uh, he Homer had those two cigars in his pocket, and we were fighting over that. That was one reason I wasn't going to marry him because I don't like smoke. And uh, my dad punched him and squashed the cigars. And Homer said, you know, nobody hits me. I hit back. And Paul reared back and, went, and Homer just went right on the nose. His nose started bleeding. <laughs> Boy, he went. So he didn't knock him out? <laughs> no, he just...
tapped him a little bit on the nose. Listen to this story. Quick, quickest play to Her, bleed. Listen to this. Her dad had, Homer had two cigars in his pocket and came to visit when they were dating, and her dad was drinking a little bit. And what did he want? One of the cigars? Did he want Homer to no, get him? No, he just punched he him. He just wanted to aggravate him, right? To provoke yeah. him. So he punched Homer in the chest and smashed his two cigars. Oh, no. Yeah. So tell so, so what happened. Did so, Homer get mad? <laughs> did yeah. Homer get mad? He did. But when he hit him there, you know, Homer hit him on the nose, like, just like that, and his nose started bleeding. He was dead. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, he didn't what Homer, tell what Homer said. Tell Savannah what Homer said. Uh, Something like nobody hits me. Yeah, okay. nobody hits me. And I contradicted him afterward in the private. I said, nobody hits your cigars. <laughs> yeah, John. That listen, was our big argument. That. When they get married, Homer asked her if, if, if Helen plans to hit him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you heard that? I told her. Yeah, she just told me yesterday. To hit him? Yeah. So... Like he he said to me, do you plan on hitting me? And he was standing like of that door. And I said, no, what, what am I going to hit you for? I got something to hit you for. I ain't going to hit you. <laughs> he said, I just want to know if you're ever going to hit me, I hit back. <laughs> and you'll be out. Now, flash forward, Grandma. He started, uh, he did fight, even, he did fight even... I can't remember the dates. It might have been 38. It might have been before you were married, but he started... He fought in Pittsburgh for a while. and Bridgeport. Then, then he ended up going back to Wheeling, in the Wheeling Market Auditorium. Yeah, that was when that guy... Earl Mose. Uh, he knocked him out. Yeah. So you were already married then, weren't you? No, not when he knocked him out. I don't think... You were dating? I think we... Just you got in? Did you get in an argument? You didn't like him boxing, so that was before you were married when he when he got knocked out. And uh, do you remember where, where were you at when you were? Because he walked out, you were giving him a hard time, and he, you said it, 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 he wasn't as focused as he could have been. You told me that one time. So where would that take place? At your home down here on Ohio Avenue? Well, the, at the conversation afterward, because I was sitting next to Mr. Dowdy. And I slumped over on him when I thought his opponent came up under him. Yeah, no, no, no. That, that's that's, that's okay, the Howard that's Myers fight. That's in Myers. West Virginia. Yeah. That was when you drove all night to back to get yeah. to uh, Fairmont, West Fair, Virginia. Fairmont. But I'm talking about a fight that was in Wheeling. And I thought maybe you were already married. Remember, remember Homer was walking out the door? You remember. You told me he was walking out the door and you, you were giving him a hard time. And he came home and said, I was knocked out. Well, his know. mother was sitting at the radio with me. I was down at his house that night. You listened to the fights even at Wheeling? They had the fights at Wheeling on the radio as well as Pittsburgh? Yeah. Was it alive? They would describe it live on the radio? Mm -hmm. Hi, Grandma. I watched all of the fights with her. You listened? Yeah. No TV. Yeah. You watched it on the radio in your mind. Well, I need to get a copy of that Jarvis letter. I need to put it in my book because my book has a big hole. It might be handy. My book has a hole in it. And that, that tells, he had many stories. Jarvis filled in about, uh, remember I got in trouble over his manager, Stanley? Remember his uh, Stanley widow? Stanley Williams. Yeah. His widow got mad at me. Got mad at both of us. Oh, yes. Well, that was because I said something I shouldn't have. We had to clean, go up and... Me and sis had to go over there and clean up that... Chicken coop. Boxing chicken coop. Grandma called it a chicken coop, and they got mad. Well, it was up on post. It wasn't a foundation. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it was no, no, I called, it a sh I called it a shack. She got mad, and I called it a shack. Your telephone's beeping. So I, just I called it a shack, and she got mad at me, and I said, look, I had three choices. <laughs> I had shack, shanty, and chicken coop. Now, which one do you like? Um, she was Gigi. 
What's that um, man's name? He's a black guy? Yeah. yeah. What's his name? Well, Leroy. don't don't talk to him. Okay. Don't talk to him. It could just start something for me. Wow. And don't mm -hmm. throw nothing in his yard. Don't bother him in any way. Yeah. And stay in the top part of the yard, right, not yeah. over oh, here in the mud. All right. Let me see your shoes. Rachel, Rachel. Stay We're having there. an interview. We're having a serious uh, interview here. Sorry. I'll wipe it up. No, All right, you Grandma. Don't, you don't wipe it up. Let it dry. No sweeper will get it. Take your yeah. shoes off. Look, you're getting mud in the house. Try, leave your shoes. Either stay outside. Rachel. Well, look. There's, We're getting ready to go. Hey, there's a dozen rugs on the patio. Now take time to wipe your feet. Uh, All right, Grandma. How, how was the wedding? How was the wedding? Oh, okay. I got up and got ready. And the people I work for next door, they got ready. Uh, Joe wasn't ready, and they were just going to go as witnesses. And Joe wasn't ready. He had to wash his car. He had to get his clothes from the dry cleaner. And we were supposed to be over there, like in 15 minutes. And so Hazel and Clarence got the car, their car out of the garage and said, come on, we're going. Clarence. Clarence. Uh, they they were neighbors. Clarence, she worked, and my mother watched him. And uh, we're talking about Grandma's wedding. Get your hair Oh, look at that! Did you have to bring me bills? Sorry. <laughs> now you know where Daddy gets it from. <laughs> All right, Grandma. So so, uh, so they had a judge or a justice of the peace or justice a clerk. Justice of the peace. And he mar married you. He married me and Homer. That was was the there a fanfare and I mean was it happy? Uh, my mother was standing next to me and Charlie was standing next to Homer. And I was so sure he wasn't going to hear that preacher. So I'm intently preacher? waiting. Preacher? Was it a preacher? Well no, he was a, a magistrate. just of the yeah. east. And I'm concentrating on him answering and mom pinches me. I looked at her and she said, he asked you if you want to take him as your husband. <laughs> you were worried about Homer. And yeah, you're <laughs> <laughs> so everybody. So you're the, one, you're the one that didn't, wasn't well, paying attention. He didn't say yes. <laughs> Homer didn't? Not, not yet. Not, you know. Oh, he didn't have a chance. And, and, and then I was waiting for him. To, oh, he asked the man first. first, but then I... He asked you first. Yeah, you did. They did the math. He asked me first, and I was stalling around, <laughs> and Mom pinched me. <laughs> so, so me and her just looked at each other, and she was a smile from ear to ear. You know, she was getting the biggest kick out of everything, <laughs> and uh, she, uh, yeah. Then finally, they asked Homer if he was going to take me as his wedded wife, and. Mom's face was so lit up, she was just ready to bust out laughing because everything was going so funny, wow. you know. And uh, the preacher said, you'll have to speak up, miss. <laughs> speak up for myself. Fence. I'm a miss now, but I'm going to be a miss as soon as I open my mouth. And there was where the comedy come in at. That is funny. Yeah. We can't see him. He's over there. Yeah, I'd like to have that story of... Uh, Give me a minute. Of Jarvis. What? Yeah, I yeah. I think it's in there. No, uh, you don't have to get it now, Grandma. Just relax, relax. I have a couple stories from people that remembered talking to Homer. Keith Wise remembered Homer being called, called the White Swan. Oh, yes. See, I never knew about the White Swan. Because mm -hmm. his skin was so white and soft. I thought it was uh, from his boxing, you know, being graceful. He was a graceful boxer. Hey, come here. Mm -hmm. Come here. Look at your shoes. Are they muddy? Well, let me tell you something. Yeah. That porch has a rug from one side to the other. Stand still and wipe it out on the patio. Uh, uh, Abby, over this way. This way. Well, no, no, she's I, okay. Gotta go to Chucky. What? What? Chucky. Chucky? Yeah, Chucky went over the fence. He went over the fence. He needs a spank. I told them not to. Where is he? My mom is getting out of the See, you, you I told them not to go over that fence. Yeah. There's two reasons. The top is sharp. Is there any way to go out? 
No, you're stepping. Come, All right, come on, come on. We only have just a few minutes. I'm one door. I'm sharp. I don't. I don't want to hear about the sharpness of the fence. One right. door. You're not using all, all right. the doors. All right. Also, uh, Roy Dunn told me that Homer remembered telling him about the time he got knocked out, and he said he was combing his hair, looking in the mirror. He remembers. He doesn't remember getting knocked out. He just remembers, yeah. you know, being in the locker room and there was a mirror and he was combing his hair. I bet that was Earl Mose. Okay. The Earl Mose. Might have been. Yeah. But Jarvis told that story about eating all the hot dogs. That's yeah. in that letter, right? And Jarvis might be related. I think Jarvis is related to Maggie Light. You know, they're divorced now, but Mark married a Jarvis girl, and they had a relative who was a boxer. Hmm. And uh, I wonder if maybe they were related. I have to ask Margaret. I never thought about it. I never heard about it. Yeah, because Mark married a girl whose who's family was a boxer, whose grandfather was a boxer. It might have been... It might have been the same man. Uh, Jarvis was a friend of uh, the Dowdies. Is, did he pass away? See, I don't know. I he sent a photo of himself to Grandma, Mr. Jarvis. Yeah. He was still boxing, and he had a rock-solid waist, and he was still boxing, and he was 60, 65 years old. I think it was four. 64 years old, and he was still okay. boxing. Wow. And, no way. 64 years old? And How it was, old is your dad? It was Ma and Maggie, and I think he's related to... Uh, Maggie Light's son Mark, he, he married a girl named Jarvis, and they said our great grandfather, our grandfather is a boxer, our great grandfather. Wow. And this Jarvis was a friend, and he remembered. I told he read my book, and he laughed because Homer's first manager, they were nice people, and we didn't mean to offend them, but we didn't, they wouldn't help me. I, I, we asked them for stories, and they just weren't interested. They wouldn't tell us any stories because they could have gave us many positive stories. So all I knew was that all I knew was that. That Grandma calls this place uh, a shanty shack or a chicken coop, so I went with shack, and that got upset. And then number two, uh, Grandma remembered that they had a disagreement over how to wrap their hands. That was a yeah, boxing manager. Stanley Williams. Yeah, they disagreed over how to wrap their hands. And then what happened was Homer changed and got a later manager named Alex Schroeds, who went to, who took him to Pittsburgh, and I, and I. I was just going over the clippings last night, and I knew that he was a. I knew he was good in Pittsburgh, but the paper, the paper said he was a star. He, he that he was given the main event because he ha he won three fights in a row, uh, maybe four fights, and so that he was fighting the main event at Pittsburgh. So he's the main. The main event is like the most popular fighter. Uh, so Alex Schroeds was his manager, and I remember sitting down talking to Homer, and I asked him about his managers, and he said Alex Schroeds is was the best best was my best manager he's the only one who never cheated me so that sounds terrible because i didn't say it i don't i didn't cast any uh, aspersion on on uh, stanley williams but they the williams family took that comment and i had to print it wow. and they took that bad it wasn't oh and then they married marty becker yeah who beat homer and wheeling and homer was so upset because jack dempsey the heavyweight champion was the referee and they had a big show, and Homer said he should have. He said he should have beat him uh, clearly. And uh, but there was emotions there. Well, uh, Homer's string on his trunks broke, and his pants oh. were going to fall down. And in the last round, he had Marty Becker out, and he his, he had he had to hold his pants up with one <laughs> glove and box with the other. Oh my goodness! So he says, "I would have beaten Marty Becker every time." Well, they uh, they they didn't like that either. And Marty Becker was still living, and I said, Grandma, let's, so we tried to call him, and I said, uh, they didn't get back to me, but I said, Grandma, call him. So Grandma talked to Marty Becker, and he, she says, tell us about our, your boxing, and what did he say? I, I can't remember. He said, I'm not going to talk any about my boxing. I can't say, I'm not going to say anything. He says, I'm not going to talk about boxing whatsoever. So he, they just wouldn't help me, and I don't know why, they, they just, because if he would have said anything, I would have put it in the book. Yep. You know, even even from his point of view, I would gladly have put it in the book. They just didn't play their cards right. He married a woman uh, that went to school with me, in classes with me in high school. And she they were had money, yeah. you know. And so when we were having our yearbook made, she put me in the back row, and there was two tall people by me, and I am an ink spot. 
you don't know who that is sitting. My one girl at Martin Ferry High School. Yes. What was your class? What was your graduating class, Grandma? Oh, I got the book in there. You would have graduated in what year? Are we talking thirty-four? Well, I had to quit. if you're born in nineteen, and you're and it's eighteen, you graduate when you're seventeen or eighteen. So it had been thirty-five. I had to quit in the freshman year. Of course, Grandma. Everybody did. It was the Great Depression. I, I didn't get to graduate. Yeah, no, so I, you have to take it from the freshman year. So that would so Homer had to pull out his freshman year. That was in thirty four, nineteen thirty four, I believe. Yeah. So you would have been two years later. So you would have been the class of thirty six. Mm -hmm. I've got the. I bought the ferry. And I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Your freshman year would have been thirty six. You would have been the class of thirty nine. You ever heard of that? Like 1939? I got the, I've got the uh, and okay. I'm the ink spot. All right. Because of her. She could have put me in the front row. That was your freshman year? Yeah. Well, when you have time, just mail me or let me know what year your freshman year was. I found out my dad's class is 58 because he's, he's got his graduation picture and it says 58. I've got that album. I don't think he took that unless I give it to him lately. Well, when you were, when you had no, wait Charles. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? So how did Homer ever tell you he loved you for the first time? Was it in the back of the car there? No. <laughs> he just said, you're pretty cute. <laughs> and Joe looked in the mirror and said, that's enough of that back there. <laughs> But Joe was quiet. He he yeah, was he, he 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 was uh he didn't talk a lot, did he? Uh, no. He didn't boast, and he wasn't as uh he was more uh, reserved. But my mother and dad was teaching the older three Hungarian. So when he went to school, he couldn't be speak English, and everybody made fun of him, and he never got over that. So then. Well, I went to the school and uh, talked to the teachers, and they came to the house for lunch. And that Mackey school down there, that was the beginning. All the teachers, years after, even with me and George, they, they walked home with us and ate lunch at our house. There is no better cook, they said. We ain't packing a lunch. Wow. They said we never did leave. Hungry. <laughs> Good Never really women. hungry. Good. That's a joke. Hey, you know, they were good teachers. And Mom didn't speak as good English as she should, but she was trying. We had our spellers. Uh, what was the first one? Um, we wish we could find out who borrowed that or stole it. McGuffey. McGuffey Reader. McGuffey Reader. She, yeah. she had has McGuffey Readers. But see, ours... They're reprints, though. Yeah, Hers is original. Yeah, These yeah, are just... Yeah. Somebody I don't just, have... Yeah. It's not original. No, somebody just reprints it. it yeah. But this was original. Wow. And we all used it. After the first grade, you had to get another issue. All right. Do you have any more questions? Yeah. Savannah? So you how want did, to take over the interview? I, did Homer ever tell you he loved you? No. He said the kiss was enough. <laughs> oh. He showed affection all the time. <laughs> But after we were married, he always made sure that I was escorted, you know. Weren't you scared to marry him? No, his nature didn't make me scared of him. Yeah. I wished it had now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'd have got an education. But no, I went to night school. Grandma, are you going to tell me you walked right down to the bank and said, I want money to buy this, uh, what was the name of the coal company here? This was a Helen Delaney. What? There was a coal mine over there that my dad worked in, like a little hole with a few two-by-fours. Uh, after I was older, my dad said uh, he didn't want me coming over the coal dump with those kids anymore. I said, Papa, I want to see you come out. He said, there'll be plenty of time when I get home and get my face washed. How do you know which one of the, the men are me? Yeah. I said, Pop, 
Nobody's got to walk like you. Aww. Grandma, I know it. chase those guys off the phone. <laughs> so what did you tell him I might be pregnant what'd you say no he he was helping me he knew what was wrong uh, I didn't have to tell him nothing I was so Are we gonna set up a couple shots photographs of grandma yeah in my house coat you want to go downstairs in the alley grandma not my house coat these people around here will say she flipped <laughs> Uh, Those kids are awful quiet out there. No, they're playing. I just checked on them. Do you make them go up in the big yard? Yeah, over there, up there. That is solid mud. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Are you staying up? <laughs> what? 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 Uh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm telling my mom something. What? Is that Zen or is it cheating? Listen, listen, we're going to pack up and go, okay? I don't want to leave JJ. I know, we'll have to come back. We'll have to come back. All right, go on. To see Grandma's garden with zinnias in there and cucumbers and roses. Next time. I wish she was going to be here to dig it. <laughs> I'm going to dig it. I'm not going to ask nobody. What time? Because uh, nobody wants to work. And don't tell me the price is high. That's what I said to the one guy. I'm willing to pay you $20 an hour. Um, now, peaches. don't tell me the groceries are high and you don't want to work for it to buy them. Uh, That's not my code. But I had to have the police here with that man. He got me upset <coughs> real bad. Wow. So when do you, when are you going to dig, Grandma? Well, when, when do the plant in Ohio? Grandma? What? I'll mail those I'll mail those photos back. I'll overnight them FedEx. I won't put them in the post office. I'll overnight them. Okay. I'll make several copies so that you can give away as friends to people, okay? Yeah. I got five photos there. Okay. One of Chuck and, and four of Homer. Hey, one more of the peaches. Or open it All right. more. Alright. Pop is on the left. Yes. Joe Bazaar Senior. Yeah. Who's in the middle? Louis Bazaar. Who? Louis. 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 Was he a cousin? No, that's his brother. That's Joe's the brother? The youngest That's your brother. Uncle Louis. Yes, yeah, Uncle Louis. Then who's on the right? And Frank, my brother Frank. Yeah, I met Frank. He autographed the show for me. Yeah. Alright. You stopped up there one Yeah, time. we did. We had a good time. <laughs> I can make it black. <laughs> Hungry. 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 Abigail can't You got one hour to make it, guys. Hurry. Everybody get your shoes and socks. Bring something down. Mom will tell you what to bring. Come on. Bring it down. I'm giving them a cookie. I don't think Yeah, they didn't. I have to put you because I'm a I love you. I love you, too. Thank you all for working hard and listening to me to correct you. Thank you for letting me uh, play outside for a while. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happened? Did you break your salad? Yeah. I didn't. Scratch you? Mm -hmm. Oh, my. That is bad. She could have a lollipop or something. 
Which is the easiest way to pack up the car? Go downstairs? Yeah. Mom? Yeah, because you got me out. You don't want to go around the gate. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Where's my photos at, Grandma? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see that on there? It says Hey, Grandma. What? When do you plan zinnias? In May? Here's some plastic bags, Grandma. You know, we've already started right, here. right close to April. We're getting close to April. And on the package, it will show April, May, and June. Then you watch this storm, what this storm is going to do. Because if this one gets a storm, Alex, Alex, this is my pillow, babe. Yeah. Oh, that, Rachel, could you carry the pillow? All right, here's our disc. Oh, I was going to leave that there. Here's the disc. Do we have the new case? Let me back up. Come on, Grandma, we'll get your shoes You want this disc, honey? Well, Should I write on her, Grandma? Yeah. Here's your Right. Right. I put it in here now. Hey, Grandma. You don't have your shoes, nor are your sweatshirt. Where's Alexander at? Hey, cutie. Call me. Hey, little cutie. I love you. Wow, you went Hungarian, that means what's the matter? What is it? What's a cook guy? <laughs> <laughs> 